And that, welcome to this video, in which I'm going to give you a little chord game. The chords are so important, you need to know them, and you're going to get a finger workout as well. A few steps to this, I'm going to show you each one, and you can enjoy the timestamps below if you'd like to jump ahead. So the first one is, you choose a chord type, and then you choose a rhythm, or you feel what rhythm is coming naturally to you, and you play with both hands, of course, that chord type, this is step one, of course, with that rhythm at that tempo, in that time signature, it's your choice. So, uh, let's just see what happens naturally. I'm gonna take um, a sixth chord. Now this is gonna force you to know that chord type in all the keys. So if you don't know it in all the keys, it's gonna force you to have to find it based on the template. Most templates are based on one, three, five, seven, and then an alteration thereof, or one, three, five, six, maybe a minor with a six. It's down to you to work it out. I have a video on all the chord types uh, card in the corner, link below. So let's have a look at this. It's going to come out like... Um, it's coming out like this. So that came out in that rhythm playing a sixth chord. Step two is to alternate between two chord types. So let's take a minor seven and a dominant seven and I'm going to do the same thing again I'm going to feel what rhythm comes naturally and I'm just going to alternate so first of all I'm going to start on the seven and then go to the minor seven and then the seven and then the minor seven and I'm going to start playing with the regular seven chord but then the next time around I'm going to start with the minor seven so that I know that I know the seven and the minor seven in, in all of the keys because you're, you you're, you're forcing yourself to do all of them so what's this going to come out? This is going to come out as a kind of... So it's minus 7. Regular 7, minus 7. Regular 7. Minus 7. Regular 7. It's really good because you need to think ahead. Uh, minus 7. Regular 7. Minus 7. Regular 7. Minus 7. Regular 7. And then I'll go around it again without talking, but this time I'll start on the minor seven. A bit quicker. Minor seven. So I went through chromatically minor seven and regular seventh chord. And then step three is to do it with three chord types, but mixing and matching. So let's add in a major seven, a whole diminished, and major seven, whole diminished, and minor, and a sixth chord, like the one I did in the beginning. I'd like to introduce a new chord, that's okay. A minor sixth then. So major seven, whole diminished, minor six. So let's just mix and match. I'll say it as I go along. So I'll start with the minor six. So this, this rhythm seems to be coming out a lot for some reason, so I'll just use that rhythm. So minor six. I'll do it for like double the time so you can kind of keep up. So minor sixth. Now I'm going to go to major seven. And then what was the other one we said? Hold diminished. I'll do another hold diminished. Major seven. Now minor six. Another minor six. Major seven. Another major seven. Diminished. Another one. Minor six. Major seven. So sped up a bit at the end. So that's kind of the idea, really, and it just forces you to know the chords in different keys. And then the final thing is that you are able to do that with any chord type you want, but try to maybe do it uh, over two octaves, maybe make it a bit more musical. So I might begin with, let's just say, an augmented seven, which is a nice chord. So I might kind of play it in a, in a more melodic way, and I'm just going to play random chords as I go up. See if you can work out what they are. I won't say them, I'll just play them randomly. So I start, I'll start on the C augmented, C7 augmented.
finish on a nice 13 so I'll give you that one so you're just forcing yourself to be able to find the shape really quickly in whatever key you happen to be at next in the chromatic scale so you're challenging yourself and uh, learning new chord types in different keys getting a bit of rhythm practice and a very simple sort of finger workout just by playing the chords so hopefully that will give you something to play around with and you can just verify where your holes are so to speak and uh, fix it there you go as always likes comments subscriptions are always welcome have a look at my video management website water syllabus perhaps patreon and i'll see you in the next video all the best and bye for now